and ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel this is your boy fly island guy today we are back in the cj4 continuing our european tour and uh we are here in Slonik in hungary and we're going to be heading over to the ukraine today i'm um, just going to be carrying some executives over there and we're going to be heading over to odessa ukraine i think that's how it's pronounced as usual, we're going to discuss Odessa and, 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 and what that's all about. Um, but for now, we are going to get this flight started. So, uh, what I'm going to do, uh, <laughs> I did not really check to see this what this actual parking spot was. So, we're sort of in a weird location right now. And... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, we have the engine started. We're pretty much ready to go, but I'm going to get the, uh, ramp agent to push us back out and <laughs> get us in a position where we could, we can get taxi. And so let's go ahead and let's do that now. All right. So, uh, I think we will push back and we'll, we'll push back and to the left. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Right. I don't know why it always does this. I'm kind of totally miss and then spin around and snap back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, kind of weird logic. I don't know why it always does this. So we're just going to wait for this to... There we go. Position itself. Alright. I believe I've already released the parking brake. But... Uh, so good. Start the turn. But one way. All right. And we'll stop pushback. Park and break on. Thank you very much. All right. So yeah, these little parking bays are kind of weird. <laughs> so figured I'd do some pushback action. All right. Cool. So. We will get going. I think we have to kind of go up and left. I do not get this every single time. It's getting a little frustrating. This is kind of unrealistic. I was sort of looking this up 
on the flight simulator forum and people have mentioned that it's almost like the uh, traffic is like attracted to the plane like a magnet that's why they always come towards us I, I don't know if that's 100% true but it's definitely weirdly frustrating though all right so we're gonna taxi down to runway 20 And I don't know if I mentioned it, but um, the flight time today is going to be, I believe, an hour and 13 minutes, something along those lines. Just trying to pull it up over here. Hour 14 minutes. There you go. All right. So this is runway 20 right here. In terms of weather today, uh, I'm just going to bring up windy.com. But we're kind of slowly taxiing towards the runway. And uh, we'll just stop here and, and hold. Just go through that. And then we'll take off. Weather today here in Sonic is not too bad. As you can see, it's a little uh, overcast. Um, but uh, still VFR conditions overall. Winds are out of 190, 10 knots. Temperatures 8 degrees C. And uh, so nothing too much to, to, to worry about there. We take a look at uh, Odessa Airport. Um, I put up the wrong thing. Over in Odessa, things are looking pretty good as well. Um, winds are out of 160 at seven meters per second <laughs> don't know why that's different uh ceiling and visibility is okay temperature is the same eight degrees c as well um and i'll just i'll check the precipitation as well uh looks like we have absolutely clear skies over there um so yeah not too much to worry about so we should have smooth sailing for pretty much the majority of the trip so that's good all right folks let's get ready for takeoff make sure no one is coming nobody is coming strobes and landing lights are on Alright, and just gonna get our heading dialed in. We can just switch that on when we take off. Um, not really too feeling hand flying today. And we're gonna be doing a left turn to get onto our flight plan. So let's go ahead and do that. Rotate speed today is 96 knots. we go folks rotate was a shallow climb up. <laughs> I am loving the 
kind of European scenery. Flaps up. Alright, uh, so let's get our heading in motion. Gotta get autopilot on, do heading hold, and flight level change. Two hundred forty knots. And I also forgot to raise my gears. I'm wondering what the rumbling noise was. There we go. So beautiful scenery on the way out. I don't know what, what these are. It looks interesting. So we're going to say goodbye to Sonic today. Uh, will we be coming back anytime soon? Who knows? Alright. Uh, I'm going to go nav mode. That's taking over. Awesome. Alright. Yeah, let's bring up our traffic. And uh, terrain and weather, good to go. So this TJ4 has been awesome to fly. Um, when the time comes to not fly this plane anymore, definitely gonna miss it. Um, it's made a. Uh, Flying very enjoyable, easy to fly, but just has the right amount of, of tech <laughs> to to make me feel like I'm actually flying a proper airline airliner. Oh, that's not um, very automated. All right, so let's do a quick uh, review of where we have today. So, as I mentioned, we are going to Odessa. Ukraine. Now, if you've been following the news at all, um, we know that right now the Ukraine, well, there's some some tensions between, uh, all going on between Ukraine and Russia. Um, and there's talk about the occupation or an attempted occupation of uh, Ukraine by Russia. So, uh, always, always kind of keep them in your prayers with what's going on. Although I was uh, watching a, a lady, she lives in Jamaica, but she's from Ukraine, and she was kind of talking about uh, what's been going on. And uh, she was saying that the news really kind of. They're making like kind of a big thing about it, like uh, this is new, but she's like the the tensions between Russia and Ukraine have been there for years and years and years, and um, this is something that they've been dealing with for an extremely long time. So it's not like this is this is kind of new. So in a sense, 
she feels that it's kind of being sensationalized a little bit. Although, I mean, it is accurate to what's going on, but but still, this this isn't uh, kind of a new situation. They've been kind of dealing with this threat from Russia for for a while. But anyway, that's not what uh, <laughs> that's not exactly what we're we're here to talk about today. Um, you know, we, we we try to keep things light here on the channel, but you know, you, st you still have to be aware of what's going on around the world. Um, and I know I don't do it enough. Um, but I think we should all try our best to be kind of as well informed as possible. Alright, seem to be going through some pretty hefty cloud cover right now. Uh, a lot higher up though. Um... So, that's yeah, pretty interesting. Although, I don't really see too much rain in the area. Um, I guess, yeah, it's a lot of cloud, a lot of cloud cover going on. Alright. So, getting back to Odessa. So, Odessa, Ukraine is a seaport uh, in the southwest of Ukraine. It stands on a shallow indentation of the Black Sea coast at a point of pro approximately 19 miles north of the Dniester River estuary and about 275 miles south of Kiev, which is the capital of the Ukraine. Although a settlement existed on the site in ancient times, the history of the modern city began in the 14th century when the Tata Fortress of Kajibay was established there. Alright, coming up in the, over the clouds. Uh, I love seeing that. It later passed to Lithuania, Poland, and in 1480 to Turkey, and the fortress was stormed by the Russians in 1789 and the territory ceded to Russia in 1792. A new fortress was built in, in 1993 and a 94 naval base and commercial key were added. And in 1795, the new port was named Odessa for the ancient Greek colony of Odessa, the site of which was be believed to be in the vicinity. During the 19th century, Odessa's growth was rapid especially after the coming of railways in 1866. Uh, Odessa became the third city of Russia and the country's second most important port after St. Petersburg, and grain was its principal export. So the city was one of the chief centers of the revolution of 1905 and was the scene of the mutiny on the warship Temkin, Sergei, oh, oh, the warship Temkin, sorry, Sergei, Eisenstein's classic film Battleship Tempkin was made there in 1925, and Odessa suffered heavy damage in World War II during its prolonged and unsuccessful defense against German and Romanian forces. The city remains a major port in Ukraine, with well-equipped docks and shipyard, ship repair yards. After 1957, a new outport was built in Ilichevsk, 12 miles to the south. Odessa is the base of a fishing fleet. The city's rail communications are good to all parts of Ukraine, Moldova, and Romania. And Odessa is also a large industrial center with a wide range of engineering industries. Products have included machine tools, cranes, and plows. The chemical industry has produced such materials as fertilizers, paints, and dyes. And Odessa also has been the site of oil refining, jute processing, consumer goods manufacturing, and food processing. Most factories lie north of the port along the waterfront with newer plants on the western outskirts. Odessa is an important cultural and educational center. It has a university founded in 1865 and numerous other institutions of higher education. 
Its most renowned research establishment is the Filatov Institute of Eye Diseases and Tissue Therapy, and there are a number of museums and theaters, including the Opera House and Ballet Theater, dating from 1809. The seashore, south of the harbor is a popular resort area with numerous sanatoriums and holiday camps. Uh, the population as of 2001 was 1,029, sorry, 1,029,049 and as of 2019, 1,013,159. So, that's a little bit uh, about um, Odessa, and so we shall see how things look when we get there. Um, our light for today, um, it doesn't look like it's going to take us out over the sea. We're going to be doing a northerly approach, uh, which is going to have us landing on runway 16 so but on landing uh i think we'll be getting a good view of odessa um on our left uh when we approach so hopefully uh we'll get some interesting sights there and uh looking forward to a nice calm flight today so we shall see how things go We are at 36,000 now, um, kind of near to our cruising altitude today at 41,000 feet. And uh, we're absolutely like rocketing through that climb right now. So what I will do, folks, is I will hit you guys when I get back. Um, this actual job today, I had to kind of rush and do it because I didn't realize it was, it was only, or well, last night, uh, there was 14 hours left to get this done. And I'm trying to, to avoid kind of those penalties or those heavy penalties for doing jobs late. And uh, so this one had 14 hours left. So uh, my normal routine nowadays is to get up and um, well, during the week, get up, go to the gym really early in the morning. And the plan was to go to the gym. And then when I got back from the gym, fire up uh, Flight Simulator and kind of get this flight knocked out before work. But as luck would have it, today is actually a holiday here in Nova Scotia. And I thought the gym would still be open because it's a 24 hour gym, but the gym was closed. So I just came back, fired up flight simulator, and I'm doing the flight now. And uh, it'll be good to get out the way. Outside of that, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll catch you guys when I get back. And I uh, will go over the approach and hopefully get some good views of Odessa on the way in. I'll talk to you all then, and uh, I'll see you when I get back. Peace. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have started our descent into Odessa, and uh, the weather, well, I'm hoping that this is accurate, seems to be... Um, Pretty, pretty uh, accurate to what we saw before. Uh, clear skies, not too much in the way of clouds. And uh, I'm just going to bring it up now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much not much cloud cover in the area. Uh, current temperature right now, or current weather conditions are... Uh, winds out of 170, 6 meters per second. Uh, ceiling and visibility is uh, clear as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Temperature is 9 degrees C. So it hasn't really changed too much from uh, what we saw before. 
we head to the cockpit now. We are at uh, 12,300 feet. I need to adjust for... Um, I gotta adjust for the uh, altimeter, which I haven't done yet, but we will do that shortly. Let's take a quick look at our approach for today, and let me just get the landing lights on before I forget. Yeah, we're a little high, but it's all good. Alright, so we're going to be doing the ILS Runway 16 approach. Uh, now, normally, if, if we're coming in from the south, uh, we would be using the uh, ODA VOR and head out to uh, 9.3 uh, DME and then kind of turn around and come back for the uh, to capture the localizer, but we're going to be coming in from the north, so we're going to be heading straight to this 00220 uh, approach, sorry, waypoint, um, which is the initial approach fix. So we're going to be heading there and uh, capturing the localizer, and then hopefully everything will go all good for the landing. Um, so let's get things started. Looks like the localizer has already been picked up, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, we're going to go and get our approach information in though, which we haven't done yet. Uh, so we're going to come to performance approach. As I mentioned before, winds are out of 170. Um, at well, this says six meters per second. I don't really know how to convert that to knots, so uh, let's just say mm, I look further down, it says uh, four knots. So let's just use that. Outside air temperature is nine degrees C, and altimeter is 29 is 6 6 so kind of very similar to what we were seeing in Hungary uh cool so I'll give us a VREF of 100 V approach of 107 and go ahead and send that We'll also get the um, ILS frequencies set up. So that's going to be uh, 109.1, which is already in there. Awesome. So yeah, we see it's already tuned, so shouldn't be an issue. Uh, what I'm also going to do is get our the minimums in there as well, which is going to be uh, 610 feet. Luckily, we were kind of similar to that already. And I think we are good to go, folks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and brief the passengers for landing because we are really close to uh, starting the final approach. So, uh, so let these passengers know that we're about to land, and after that, uh, we should be coming in to Odessa. May I have your attention, please? We will be landing shortly. Please turn off all portable electronic devices, snow tables, secure luggage, and loose articles. Return your seat to the upright and outboard position. Extend your headrest and fasten your lap belt and shoulder harness. After landing, please remain in your seat with your lap belt and shoulder harness securely fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop in the parking lot. Thank you. All right. I don't know why I thought that was going to be longer. I think I'd be used to that by now. Just trying to enjoy the views outside. I've uh, been experiencing a little bit of turbulence on the way in, uh, but it hasn't been anything 
Don't be too crazy. But yeah, we come in. Odessa should be. We should be seeing kind of a lot of the city on our left. So, yeah, man, that should be cool. So used nowadays to seeing so much like farmland because I guess, I guess because we're flying the CJ4, like a lot of the airports that um, we've been assigned in Simbrief are mainly just kind of small airports, a lot of regional airports. Um, so I guess we'll, we'll kind of be seeing the bigger airports near the, the large cities once we kind of get into the the larger uh, aircraft. But I'm cool with how things are for now. Not complaining at all. All right. So passenger briefing is done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go flaps 15. Let's do that there. Boom. And airport is somewhere behind us. Kind of seeing aircraft in the distance flying there. All right, so we should be making the right turn. Awesome sauce. Love getting that's the airport out in the distance right there. And yeah, Odessa should be around this area, so we should be seeing kind of a lot more once we get closer. Um, But yeah, as I always say, I love approaching these kind of strange, not strange, but um, places that I don't know, places that I'm not familiar with. This is really what uh, simming is all about to me. Um, this is what really gets me excited about, about simming. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enable approach mode. Currently, we are 3.5 nautical miles from our next waypoint. Uh, once we get close, once we get close, uh, we should be starting the the turn onto final. So we've captured the localizer and uh, going to be starting our descent soon. Um, I'm going to try and take advantage of the, <laughs> the automation of the ILS approach to kind of get some views of the city on the, on the, on the way in. But uh, yeah, there should be kind of Oh, I'd say quote unquote downtown Odessa on the left. Right. Cool. 
So we haven't captured the glide slope yet, but it is um, it is alive. Well, I never knew. You say alive or active? I don't know. I guess glide slope's alive. Um, we haven't actually captured it yet. Should be soon um, that we should be capturing it. But for now, altitude. Yeah, we're just going to. Just gonna enjoy the view. Still moving really fast though. <laughs> Should probably slow down. So as I mentioned before, like Odessa is, is a port town. Uh, that's its roots. So yeah. You find a lot of places like civilizations, etc. Um, they're kind of a lot of places you see they're built up around coastlines, around rivers, because um, that's where the the money was back then, in trade, commerce. Um, so that's where you kind of built up your settlement. You might have traveled there from somewhere else, you settled down, and then uh start your civilization there or start your colony there your town it just kind of built up from there all right so we're seeing a lot of houses here Like some buildings over over this side. This is all default scenery, of course. Um, I couldn't really find. I couldn't find anything for um, this area, so it's all good. But the scenery is loading in slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, so. gonna try and enjoy it once up oh, the glide slope is actually alive now so I'm actually gonna drop the gear we can go full flaps as well Kind of looks like, kind of looks weird, like we're lined up to the left of the runway or to the right of the runway. So, I'm going to try and keep an eye on that. Of, a, of Odessa from above as I said before the uh, we'll be passing the city on our left so now we're getting a good view of it on the way in so yeah, uh, loving how it looks I think this is probably the the biggest uh, city that we've passed in a long time. Alright, I'm going to have to focus on this approach because we're kind of like off to the left, which is sort of weird to me. So autopilot. Autopilot. Disconnect. Also gonna bring up the airport info. Looks like 
everything's gonna be to our left. Wing one seven zero and five knots. Minimums, minimums. Suck in one last view before we land. Love the shadow on the ground. This is Odessa, folks. Odessa, Ukraine. All right. Gonna back up a lot of bit. Factory to the left, maybe. But once we're actually on our correct approach speed, <laughs> smooth land, smooth touchdown. Hopefully, we're floating a little bit. Beautiful. Said it before, but I'll say it again. Doesn't get much smoother than that. Try not to run off the runway now. And I think I've just learned a lesson here for myself. And that lesson is if I just approach <laughs> the proper approach speed, which I never do, I shall be all right. Now, something interesting here, I just realized. Oh, oops. Let's turn here. And I'm going to show you guys. Let me just stop right here on the runway for a second. In sim brief, just landed the plane. This is definitely the runway. This just freaked me out. I realized, uh, not sim brief, uh, Navigraph has us on the taxiway. Not sure what that's all about. Interesting. Anyway. Looks like maybe that was an old, an old runway, perhaps. I don't know. All right. So the terminal is back this way, or well, the apron is back this way. Uh, yeah, man, this has been a cool approach, picturesque. Um, as I mentioned before, yeah, I haven't seen, haven't had approach an approach into a city, you know, this big in a while. So, really enjoyed that. need to concentrate on where <laughs> I am. Taxiing, we're going all over the place. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Odessa. And I uh, don't know what the local time is. Uh, 
Let's see. According to this, the local time is 2.44 p.m. So a nice afternoon approach. Can't be mad at that. And we have the kind of main aprons. Yep, right here to our right. And as usual. Okay, at least the truck turned away this time. Flight director can come off. See if there's any marshals close to the building. If not, we'll just use this marshal here. Don't see any, so we'll use this guy to our left. Just gonna circle around them. Oh, once they see us coming in, they should raise their hands. They have not raised their hands. There we go. Awesome. All right, folks, and that is it. Beautiful trip, beautiful day, and uh, glad to be in Ukraine. Engine off time log. Flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. We're going to get dinged a little bit uh, because. There was a little glitch, and we ended up with an overspeed warning, but no big deal. Taxi lights are still on. Alright. Uh, I gotta fix this camera, man. That's about it, folks. Um, on behalf of uh, myself here, Flyling Fly -like Guy on the channel, um, thank you for watching. Make sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with another video really, really soon. Uh, and we're either going to be in Central America or somewhere flying around in the cold tundra of Canada. <laughs> so I will chat with you guys then. As usual, stay safe. And most importantly, stay fly. I'm out. Peace.